So there are a few ways to think about it when it comes to structuring an off-season nutrition plan for putting on some weight during, say, a bulking period. In my opinion, it comes down to how you're planning on programming for your carbohydrate and your fat intake throughout the off-season period because protein is going to stay pretty much constant throughout the entire year. And now the more common way to think about it and the mistake that I've been making for such a long time when it comes to an off-season period is how you modulate your fats, thinking that, oh, because fats are the most calorie dense, they are the they take up the smallest space, they're the easiest to eat, they generally taste the best, that you should load up a lot of fats in your off-season diet. Because the other side of the equation is that fats slow down something called gastric emptying, which is basically the speed at which your stomach contents go into your small intestine so they can actually be fully digested. Fat slows that process down. So if you're eating five, six, four meals a day, you're gonna want that food to be moving through your system so you can absorb it and get on to the next meal. Another thing about fat that seems fairly obvious is that fat is like fat, right? So when you eat it, if you're in a caloric surplus, it's just way too easy, especially if you pair fats with carbohydrate intake in an insulin spike, it's so easy for your body just to take extra fats and just literally shuttle them effortlessly into fat cells in your body. So basically my take home message for the first two minutes of this video is that yes, it's calories in, calories out, but not all caloric surpluses are created equally. All right, now let's dive into this a little bit deeper, get a little bit more into the science behind what is actually going on now that I got the two minute hook out of the way and hopefully you're here for the rest of the video because there's a lot more to learn. So I'm gonna overlay some training footage, just got back from the gym today, fantastic session, and I found that my sessions have only gotten better and better and better the more that I drop my fat intake and increase my carb intake. And let's just look at this from the most surface level and that is your body's preferred method of energy is carbohydrates. So especially when it correlates to the gym or like peak performance like CrossFit athletes, sprinters, or maybe like a really, really hard top set of squats, you need everything you can, quick release energy to perform for a short period of time and then recover and do it all over again. That's very carb heavy work. You wouldn't want to break down fats to perform that kind of performance. Whereas, you know, if you're going for a very slow 10 hour walk, that would be a more conducive environment to burn fat in. So as much as your keto friend wants to tell you that their way of doing things is superior and that carbs make you fat, it's simply not true. Actually, the research shows just about the exact opposite to that. And I've got two sets of numbers for you. I'm going to base them off body weight because what is like the number one recommendation you hear based off body weight? Give you a couple seconds to guess. It's protein. The famous one gram per pound of body weight. That is so universal. It's so easy to remember. It's such a great guideline to follow because yeah, you may need 1.2 depending on your specific case or only 0.8, but it's just, it's going to get you close enough to where you're going to see almost all the results you could possibly get. So those numbers as they correspond to fat in kilograms, is going to be 0.5 to 1 gram of fat per kilogram of body weight and then 0.3 grams to 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. On those low ends, that's where things can start to get, I don't want to say dangerous, but in deficiency territory. So always track how you feel, monitor how you feel. Your body will let you know, especially fat being tied to hormonal changes and shifts. If you are not getting enough fat, you will absolutely know in your diet. So if you're, as long as you're in between those ranges and those are healthy fat sources, you are totally good to go. And again, this especially applies to those of you in your bulking periods, trying to push the off season food, trying to get that weight up, try and drop those fats down to the ranges I mentioned previously and see what happens. Mammalian biology is glucose driven. It's not lipid driven. So as much as you want to try to out research yourself and try to find the secret way, don't try to combat millions of years of evolution. It's evolved the way it has and let's play to that strength. And also keep in mind that carbohydrate intakes cause insulin responses, which is an incredibly anabolic hormone so if you're eating carbohydrates five to six times a day in large quantities you're getting five to six huge anabolic signals in your body to build new tissue and create signaling you simply don't get without those big intakes of carbohydrates if you're just eating a high fat diet and that is going to wrap up the video today guys but there's one special announcement i want to make at the end of the video and if you follow me on instagram you see my shorts see my community post you're already going to know what it is but it's team built by design, which is my very own coaching team, which is not just one coach, but multiple that we hope to grow in the future, but also a group of members who are committed to getting to their goals and helping each other achieve that. And there's so many more intricate details I could talk about because we truly have one of the most easy to follow, organized, all in one coaching platforms out there. So I'll let the website do all the talking for that. 
builtbydesigncoaching.com. Head over there if you're interested for more information or want to book a totally 100% free call with me to discuss if coaching is for you. And I'm not sure what prior coaching experience some of you guys might have out there, but one thing I will say, this is not just some like link in bio, email, copy and paste program like Instagram bullcrap. This is actually the real deal. Thought out programs with a designed process, a formulated platform for getting to your results. There was actual effort that went into building this and behind the scenes, there's so much work that goes on. This isn't just some cash grab job people do. They put that link in the bio, they put that title on their account that honestly doesn't mean that much. And we are here to prove that that difference exists in quality coaching. There is plenty of them out there and we wanna join the names among that list. So again, if that sounds interesting to you, click that first link down in the description and let me know what you think. And now we've come to the actual end of the video. So for those of you that turned up and still watch this video, however few of you it may be, I genuinely do appreciate that support. I've been creating content a lot on Instagram, TikTok, short form content. That seems to be the strategy for now. But again, with my competition season only like 36 weeks away from starting, which is, it's gonna come fast guys, especially with more prep episodes that are gonna be coming soon. Definitely gonna be very, very active on YouTube. Just stuff that takes time. But once again, make sure that like button, subscribe, share the video with somebody you think this might change their outlook on their bulking diet. Until next time, get after it.